What are My you name's Steven. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it, uh, you sitting down. And um, what is it that you disagree with? So um, I think you happen to be, you're confused on the idea of gender versus sex. I'm confused, okay. Yeah, okay, so when we say there are only two genders, we often confuse the idea of gender and sex. Sure. Sex is a generalization of XY chromosomes, so we assume that or, you know, XY, XX, you know, combination of chromosomes. Um, so we assume that, you know, male and female comes from your chromosomes, right? But uh, that's really just the idea that there's only two possibilities of sex, right? So even within sex itself, you know, you can be born uh, intersex, which okay. means that you're born with sexual characteristics of both what we would consider male and female. Um, and then you have gender, and gender is more about a mental state based off of societal norms so within our western society we often discuss gender as being binary meaning that there's two options sure so boy girl man woman however in other societies non-western societies there are more than two options okay I thought, so, can i can i ask you yeah. a couple of questions there to unpack um appreciate you taking the time by the way so what, what was your your name madison 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 so let's go to the sex concept before mm -hmm. gender i think because the idea of gender being different from sex is predicated yeah. on the the, uh, the idea that sex is um Binary, that's where you mentioned that term, gender yeah. binary. So you mentioned intersex. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm aware of intersex. Now, of course, intersex doesn't necessarily mean that someone is completely between sexes. Usually they have very identifiable characteristics, like a very large clitoris or micro penis. In that case, it also affects 0.08. People think this is funny, it's just true. Less than 0.08% mm -hmm. of but population Earth. But they still but exist. But they still exist. Let me ask you this. In human anatomy class, uh, how many fingers are you taught human beings have? Uh, we're told typically that people have 10, however, there are people born with 11 fingers. But you're fingers. taught 10, right? Yeah. So we don't teach people there are people born with 11 fingers, there are people born with 12 fingers. Yeah, but we don't completely dismiss that those people exist just because that they're uncommon, do we? We teach that human beings have 10 fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, I would wager that everyone here has been taught, yeah, human beings have 10 fingers, of course there are anomalies. Mm -hmm. That's the same way that we treat intersex or these, as you said, you mentioned chromosomes, genetic abnormalities that are very, a very extreme case. So I think what we need to do is remove this extreme case with sex, just as we would with how many fingers, toes, how many kidneys you have, how many feet you have. There's something that's typical, there's something that's atypical. Mm -hmm. Then you go <laughs> to gender. Um, this is where, listen, I'm open. Everyone has said sex is different from gender mm -hmm. and gender is not non-binary. Um, so I would like, I'd allow you to kind of unpack that for me. Yeah, so uh, in Western society at least, so in our country, in our society, we, we tend to think of gender to be on this binary spectrum mm -hmm. of, you don't, well not even really a spectrum, just a binary. Binary so spectrum. Man, woman, and that's it, those are the only two options. However, gender really is more of a spectrum. So it's non-binary, there are not just two options. Okay. You have man, woman, and then everything that doesn't fit into just man and woman is considered non-binary. That's an umbrella term, and that includes a lot of different categorizations. So how many genders are there? I can't, you can't put a number on the number of genders because everyone uses different words to classify themselves. I would disagree. I'm not, that's where it changed my mind. I'm not convinced that anyone can just use any classification for themselves, for their mm -hmm. gender. And What do you think? craziness um are you wait wait you so so you don't believe her no she said you're just confused about this what she said she said gender is a spectrum um those who don't believe that they are a girl or a boy then they're fit in the non-binary mm -hmm. right so what if someone believed they're lying would they fit in the non-binary category of clearly Did yeah you not, because you're not you're not, <laughs> you're not listening to her she clearly cleared it up for us thank you yeah so, okay. yeah and their unlimited amount of genders yeah, so I don't know how how we're going to change the language, but it must be changed yeah. to accommodate those who are, um, you know, demisexual and, it's, you know, uh, pseudo pseudo sexual, too, because they can right. they can be fake sex. You no, know? guys, look, we have a video a video on woke TikTok and they went through like <laughs> I'm not going to say all because it's infinite. Yeah. But they went through like all. <laughs> A lot of genders, and it was so many. Like it was so many pseudo, like you said, pseudo genders. sexual, demisexual, a topical sexual. These are kids that are screaming out for attention. Kid, I can't even just say kids because it's, it's grown folks too, and they're they're screaming out for attention. Yeah, they found some some cult mm -hmm. on TikTok, and 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 to feel accepted in this cult, they have to assume the the weirdest identity mm -hmm. so that they can be right. unique and celebrate you know? it they like like social media gives you some type of dopamine when you're being yeah. liked 
or someone's like, oh, you're so brave, clap, 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 clap. It's like some serotonin that goes off in the brain and it's like, I want more of this. So I don't have to be crazy, more crazy. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it crazy how, or isn't it funny how all of these people that are trying to be unique are all the same kind of unique? Like, it's like, it's like the new, <laughs> the new um, norm is to be the same kind of weird, spiky, um, blue, yellow, pink hair. Um, I'm nonconformist. I'm a nonconformist. Like everybody's a nonconformist. Mm-hmm. Everybody's woke, you mm-hmm. know. And so, yeah, I just think the the right. the radical thing to to be now is to be traditional. Is to believe that yeah. th- there's male and female. Like that's radical now. That's like, oh, what? It's so funny because years What's from now, it's like what's well, going to be traditional. Mm-hmm. Is that what now? <laughs> like years from now, decades or, you know, yeah. venture for now, traditional is going to be like left. Right. Mm. Because it's going to be. Yeah, because. Like, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to try to progress to be. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. That's a good way to put it, though, because. Yeah. OK. You make a good point. You make a good point. <laughs> Certainly not that then we have to compel society to uh, address them this way, right? I'm sure you can understand that the the compelling of language Mm -hmm. is an issue. So what gender do you think you are? Well, I'm a male. Okay, well, I think, maybe I think you're a woman. No, legally I'm a male. Oh. It says on my driver's license that I'm a male. Okay, so that's your sex. No, it's, uh, yeah, I'm that's also a male. Sex. That's your sex. It says okay. on my uh, carry so, certificate um, that I'm a male. Gender. Some legal you. documentation say gender. What if I say I don't believe you? What you got? I guess I don't know what type of point. Maybe I should listen further because I'm like, she's like, maybe I don't think you're, you know, a, fee- a, a male. Yeah. So, you know what? Never mind. I want to continue on to yeah, see what point not, he's trying to make. She's not making any sense because yeah. she's making it, a, she's using her own um, logic to try to disprove his point, mm-hmm. right? So she, he's saying, I'm a male. I am literally a male. Like, that is what I am biologically. Mm-hmm. And that's what it states on my ID. I am legally, not only biologically, but I'm legally a male as well. Mm-hmm. And she's saying, mm-hmm. well, maybe I don't think you're a male. Like, she's using her own logic, fault logic, to try to disprove his point. And right. it's, it's just not working. That's why I was like, I don't know where she's going, <laughs> yeah. going with this. Well, that's what she was trying to do there. So...